Hello, English 11 students, and welcome to the video for quarter four, week seven, days one and two. This video is designed for all students. As a reminder, everything you say, do, or type is recorded, so please remember to keep it school appropriate. And as always, there is no saving, downloading, or taking pictures of our class ever. This week's agenda, I'm going to introduce the final common task to you, which is a uh, argumentative essay. You're going to read the debate over uh, whether a college education is worth, worth it or worth pursuing. And then you're going to complete the rough draft of the quarter four argumentative essay. That rough draft is due before midnight on Saturday. So let's get started. From the English 11B homepage, click on this week's dates. Then you're going to click on quarter four argumentative essay rough draft. Okay, so this has the same setup that we looked at before when we've done an argumentative essay. Um, there's basic background information at the top about this debate, right? Is a college education worth it? And then you have three uh, pro arguments or people who are saying that it is worth pursuing a college education. And then you have three con arguments or people who are saying that it's not worth pursuing a college education. Uh, on the you know, pros are on the left, cons are on the right. And then uh, underneath all that information is where you have your multi-paragraph length argument, right? Where you're gonna be filling in information. I'm gonna talk about each of those parts now because there was some confusion the last time some people did this. All right, so the first part, you know, the debate about fill in the blank is, and then it says insert your own three to five sentence summary of the debate without using quotes from here. So the tip, First of all, um, the debate that you're um, discussing right, is about whether or not it's worth it to go to college. That's what you would fill in this first blank. Put that in your own words. Then where it says insert your own three to five sentence summary, the tip that I would suggest is treat each of these little, these three paragraphs um, like its own short thing, right? And just rewrite each of the paragraphs in your own words, like, but try to keep it to just one sentence. So one sentence for what it's saying here in your own words, one sentence for what it's saying here in your own words, and then a third sentence for what it's saying here in your own words. That will make up your kind of summary. The next part, it says, um, you know, there are several arguments supporting the pursuit of a college degree. The first argument supporting it is, and then you would insert bolded pro one from above. That's this part here where it says college graduates make more money, right? These bolded statements, college graduates make more money, college graduates have more and better employment opportunities, and young adults learn interpersonal skills in college. Those are the general statements, okay? So that's what goes here where it says insert bold pro one from above then keep going, right? Insert bold two from above, bold three from above. Then the next part, it says the strongest of these three arguments is, and then you would put in what you think is the strongest quote from pro one, two, or three. You're not going to put the same thing again. You're not going to put the same bold statement. You're going to use a quote from either here, here, or here. And then in this last part, it says, you know, this is strong because then you insert your own explanation as to why you think that is so strong or why you think that's so convincing. Okay, so again, the part that's so this part here, insert bolded, it tells you bolded, bolded, bolded. But then down here, it says insert what you think is the strongest quote, right? It should not be anything that's bolded. It should be a quote from one of these three places. Sorry. I uh, neglected to mention that just like before, right, everything is color coded. So anything that you are taking a quote from here is in this uh, reddish color. And anything where you are supposed to be writing your own thoughts and your own sentences is in purple. Then you're going to do the exact same thing for the uh, second paragraph. Where it says, on the other hand, the opposing side of this debate also has three main arguments against attending college. The first argument given against it is, insert bolded con one, right? So that would be here. Student loan debt is crippling for college graduates. This is uh, bolded con number two, and this is bolded con number three, right? And then the exact same thing when you get to here, right? Um, the strongest argument made in these three opposing arguments is, 
And then you would insert a quote from either here, here, or here. It should not be a bolded statement. All right. Then the final paragraph, it says, after reading the arguments above, I personally believe that college is a good slash bad choice for me because right, you're going to pick one or the other. It's either it's a good choice for you or it's a bad choice for you. And then you're going to insert your reasons for believing what you do, right? This should be about five to eight sentences in length. And you want to try to avoid uh, repeating the information from above, right? There's no point in using quotes. This should all be about you, right? Just to clarify, you can reference the basic ideas from the top part of the essay, right? You can reference the fact that it might be too expensive, for example, or you can reference the fact that it is good for you because you want um, more employment opportunities. But you should be writing about your personal reasons for pursuing or not pursuing college. So to give you an example, right, this, is, this would be mine. Uh, after reading the arguments above, I personally believe that college is a good choice for me because I have seen how difficult it is to get a well-paying job without a degree. My mom and dad did not have college degrees when I was younger, which meant they did not have a lot of money and raising me and my two siblings was difficult financially. However, my mom attended college in the evenings and once she earned a degree, she was able to apply for better paying jobs. I plan on having children one day and to make sure I never run into the financial problems my parents did when I was a child, I will go to college to increase my odds of getting a job that will pay a salary my family and I can live comfortably on. Right? So I'm still using the same ideas from the bolded parts, but I'm talking about my personal experiences and my personal reasons for why I think it's a good idea. If you have questions, please make sure you're asking the sub and make sure you're asking this deal. Again, this uh, assignment is due before midnight on Saturday. The more questions you ask during class, the more help you get and the better your grade will be for that rough draft. If you need help during student support, that's from 745 to 845 in the mornings. And then your Wednesday academic check-in time is from 1030 to 1050 on Wednesdays. Um, however, you have a shortened week so that Wednesday academic check-in time won't apply for this week. So if you need help outside of class, you need to make sure you're talking to Ms. Deal or you're attending that 745 to 845 student support in the morning. Thank you very much for watching.